22 years old. And amazingly, uh, I had a fear of talking to people, of getting on the phone. A bonus story about the, uh, the, the massive breathing phone. Let me, let me tell you what I, I would do. I, I, I set a goal to make my calls every Sunday night. And when I do that, I was afraid to make these calls in front of my wife. <laughs> Today, I mean, we share an office, it's not a big deal. So I would, free cordless phones. I literally ran a cord from my office out to my garage where I set up a little table. <laughs> and I would go out there, organize my leads, transfer them from one piece of paper to another piece of paper, <laughs> alphabetize. <laughs> I said, I, I, I got for two hours from seven to nine. <laughs> and at about five to nine, I'd probably be prepared for my first call. <laughs> <laughs> Dial the phone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> and then, I looked at the, then I'd look at, at the time and go, oh my gosh, it's too late. <laughs> People drop sleeping by now. <laughs> And that was me. And I'll tell you exactly why it, was, why it was me. Because I hit what I call today the warm market wall. I didn't have the ability, I didn't know Bo Short at the time, which Bo Short changed my life in this industry, by the way. I didn't have the ability, or, or I just didn't understand how to do it, to go out and create more leads. And the title they were going to talk about is Multiple Streams of Leads. I'm the first person to tell you that the reality of what I'm going to teach you today about the internet, it's not going to happen overnight for you. It takes time to understand this type of thing. And um, so when I, when I talk about multiple streams of leads, the internet is, is part of that, but we're also going to hit on a number of different areas. One market. If you are not excited enough about your product and service to get in touch with your one market, I mean, goodness gracious, Scott, you're missing it. Wouldn't you want to be in business with your friends? It makes, it's, it's common sense. I, I get calls from people saying, you know what, I've, I've toasted my warm market. What do I do now? And through, after you've approached your warm market, maybe you've been in five different network marketing companies and, and not found success. Or, it's so funny, or you've been in one network marketing company for a long time and not found success. Maybe you've been very successful. The interesting thing about that whole thing is that your warm market is a pretty much a finite number. There's only a certain number of people there. So once you hit that what I call the warm market wall, then what do you do? Well, I didn't know both short. If I had both talk on CD, I could listen to it a dozen times. It was actually pretty easy to, to approach people. Um, pretty known as an internet guy, okay? But I'm the first person to tell you that in, in Bo Winston, if I see someone at Starbucks who is well dressed and sharp and, and has a high, you know, um, energy level, I'm, I'm going to talk with them. How are you doing? That's the talk talk Tony, which we'll talk about in a second too. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Can you help me? <laughs> Why not? If you're expanding your business, I mean, use every, I mean, it's logical to use every method we can think of to create leads. If you win it, if, if, here's something very interesting. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more. But if you knew that you had a couple of leads in your inbox of your email account, how much easier would it be to approach that person at the coffee stand? And what I mean by, if you're not desperate to Spear every every single person you run into. This is, I used to, this is what I was taught, literally. Go to the mall and meet people. 